Did you know that you can make Apple, Google, Meta, IBM, and other big tech companies beg for your attention just by sitting down behind your laptop for a few hours every day? No computer science degree, no $20,000 bootcamps, no connection. Just you, your curiosity, and the right training. In this video, I'm giving you an honest review. Is Coursera actually worth it for breaking into cybersecurity in 2025? I'll show you which courses or programs actually matter, how you can use them to build real skills, and how to get 30% off Coursera Plus AMNA subscription. So what is Coursera offering? What is What can you get in terms of cybersecurity or learning tech courses on Coursera? The first one is Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. So this is fantastic for beginners. You know, absolute beginner will find this very interesting. It covers topics or concepts like CIM, you know, SOA, incident response, you know, basic fundamentals in cybersecurity, CIA, and all those stuff. Python basics, Linux basics. I've encountered many students who use this only to pass their technical interviews and get uh, offered positions in very, very good companies. And some labs on SIM came in very handy you know, while answering interview questions. Personally, I've also encountered some of the concepts learned in Google Cybersecurity Certificates you know, when interviewing and also being interviewed for position and situations in practice. In 2025, cybersecurity is one of the only fields where companies are literally hiring before they finish training people. But here is the catch. You've got to prove that you really have got the skills. And that is where platforms like Coursera, they come in. But is it actually enough to get you noticed or is just another Feel good certificate that is available on internet. Thousands of people have gone from zero in cybersecurity to landing jobs with Fortune 500 companies using only online courses, and most of them are on Coursera. Another very good course that I'm going to refer to you is IBM Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. This is quite strong on threat intelligence and incident response. Concerning cybersecurity learning in 2025, cybersecurity is more competitive than ever but it's also more accessible than it has ever been. So free resources like YouTube, uh, Vimeo, and other online video sources, they are actually excellent, but they lack some kind of structure and validation. So for, so for many of us, when we just started, you know, we went online reading different resources on YouTube and other sources online. We understand things like maybe fighting firewalls, but when it comes to being interviewed, we lack ability to actually break down this concept and explain. So what beginners actually need? We need structured learning and understanding of the concepts. So there are some universities like University of Colorado that offer courses also on introduction to cybersecurity. And this will give you a very solid foundation theoretically. So beginners want credentials they can validate. So if you felt lost at any point in time in your cybersecurity journey, I want you to click or smash the like button on this video so that I can know uh, I'm not alone in this journey. The real value of what we are talking about is in the skills that you learn, not just in the certificate. You need to avoid courses that don't have practice or hands-on situations that you can practice that can help you build your portfolio. The truth is that employers don't care about that name Costra. What they care about is the skills you do have or what you can do for them. And that is what Costra is bringing to the table. And here is the secret. Costra's guided labs are gold. Projects like building a SIM dashboard are very, very practical and will give you a solid edge when you are having interviews or seeking job. So many students have gotten referrals or been contacted by recruiters just by adding projects on this into their GitHub or online portfolio or into even their CVs and on LinkedIn. So you are not just watching videos, you are doing real tasks on real projects and real projects like, you know, working on Splunk, Wireshark, and different other tools in cybersecurity like Python, Linux, these are all fundamental skills that you get from projects that you take on on Coursera. Common frameworks like NIST, MITRE ATT&CK, you know, ISO. So these are real things that you find useful of that are very relevant to cybersecurity in 2025. 
What are the cyber security skills that you want to learn in 2025? Drop it in the comment section and I'm going to reply with the suggestion of courses that you can take on Coursera that will help you to learn these skills very fast. So when you sign up for Coursera Plus subscription, you get access to this fantastic program that can help you kick off your career in cyber security. You get all Google, IBM and University Cyber Security Certification. You get hands-on labs and projects certificates you can put on LinkedIn, resumes and your portfolios. You get access to more than 7,000 other courses. In fact, millions of courses are on Coursera, data science, networking, Python are all useful for cyber security. Sign up for the 30% discounts in the comment section and even in the description of this video. So go there now, click on the link and sign up for Coursera Plus and you get a 30% discount. So if you are serious about cyber security, check out my subsequent videos. I'm going to do a video that explains some of the experiences that I have in my early days. And already on this channel, there are a lot of videos I put out there on you know, getting into cyber security. I'm going to also share experience of my first 90 days in cyber security in subsequent videos. So like and subscribe to this channel so that you don't meet miss out on the upcoming very informative and educational videos about cybersecurity that will be coming up.